Welcome back to this video lecture series on data structure and algorithms. Today we'll be seeing on implementation of doubly linked list. So we have already known about what doubly linked list is. To remind you guys all again, a doubly linked list is a linked list where each node has this characteristic that apart from the data field and the next pointer field, we also have a previous pointer field which helps us to track any node in between the sequence. So in this diagram here, we can see three nodes here, 10, 20, 30 are the data fields of each of the node. And each of the node has these prev and next pointers. The next pointer field of this node 10 points to node 20. And same, the next of 20 points 30. But what is the importance of this previous field here? Well, when we are backtracking or like we have to keep track of the previous node in the sequence, that uh, instead of creating a new node, like temporary node and storing the address of that particular node, what we can use here is we can utilize this previous pointer field here. So suppose we are in this node 20 and somehow we want to have the value of the previous field. So what we do simply, we access this previous pointer field of this node and we can access the 10 node here. So now let us see how the structure of the doubly linked list looks like. As we have already said, there's this uh, single data field and instead of one pointer field, we have two. One is called prev, another one is next. Prev points to the previous node and next points to the next node. So here in this video lecture series, we'll mainly do two things. One is we will be creating a doubly linked list and the second task is to traverse it. So in creation of doubly linked list, first we need to do what is that uh, we need to remember some things. First is that the pref pointer field of the head node is set to null. Uh, the data value is assigned then and the next pointer is made to point the next node in sequence. The next pointer field of the last node is also set to be null. And the traversal of doubly linked list is almost same as for the singly linked list. Starting from the head node, all the nodes will be visited using a loop obviously until the next field of a node is found to be null. So let's jump onto the coding part and see how we can implement it. So I have opened my IDE and I have already written down some lines of codes. Uh, as this function that is create single node, we, we have been using the same function and we will again use the same function because we'll be needing it. I have made this change here that or like I have added this line that node prev is equals to is e null is because we are considering prev here also. So I guess you can see the changes in this struct node and in this single line change in create single node function. So now we will start creating the nodes and creating the doubly linked list. So here first we will be needing a head node. So let us create head and I will first assign it the null value. Then uh, let us say in this video lecture series we will be creating a doubly linked list consisting of four total number of nodes. So I'll be taking some more variables. Let's say second, third and fourth. So now we will be creating it. So let us just print this message creating doubly linked list. So we will first start with the head node and we will use this function create single node. Okay, so as you can see, the argument of this function demands a value that is to be passed. So for that, we will again take a variable of integer type and we will ask the user to enter the value. So enter the data and we will use scanf to get the data from the user ampersand value so the node will be created now the same thing 
is to be done to create more nodes so I will just copy it and print it so okay we don't need this line here so we'll ask again the user to enter a data and this time this will be second so now we have to make some changes in the links so the head will be pointing to the second and the prev field of the second node is also to be set and the prev field of the second will point to the head node so the rest of the part will be almost same for all the other nodes so here now with this is going to be third and the second node will point to third so we'll use second next is equal to third and the previous field of the third should be second and lastly creating the fourth node fourth node is going to be the last node so third node will be pointing to the fourth node and there will be obviously the previous field of the fourth node so fourth prev would be third so here the creation of the doubly linked list is completed now we will traverse it so traverse doubly linked list so here we will use a function here say traverse doubly linked list and I will pass the head node as the argument okay so now for this traversal we'll have to define this function so let me just copy it and here let me just paste it so the return type will obviously be void and let's just give them some space yeah and the argument will be a struct node type struct node head so as we have already mentioned the logic for traversal will be almost same as the singly linked list so while the head not is equals to null we will traverse the linked list what we'll do first we will first print the value so percentage d comma head data and then uh, we will check if the node is the last node because we have to print null then so null okay if, yeah if head next is equal to null then we will print null here let's give some new lines here and for the traversal purpose we have to move forward the head so head equal to head next and let us just give this also so that we can uh, indicate that it's a doubly linked list so and before accessing this function let us just print a message that traversing the doubly linked list so yeah this should be the program so now let's run it and see what we get as the result okay so let us just first enter any random data so let's say three then nine then six and lastly four so the result should come as three nine six four yes it's coming so this is how you create a doubly linked list and do the traversal on it thank you for watching this video and staying with us see you next time